I'm here today because the defendant, I hired him to do some legal work for me. He used it against me and turned my family against me. He's shady. He's crooked. Cue the defendant. I met Maggie Jones at the courthouse while passing out business cards, and I discovered that she makes false claims in the Superior Court. I don't owe her any money. In fact, she owes me for a bounce check. All right, the plaintiff, Maggie Jones, is suing Rafiq Bey, her former legal advisor for breach of contract and emotional distress. He is countersuing his former client for breach of contract. All right, now you say that the defendant is handing out business cards at the courthouse and you end up hiring him to serve legal papers on your son and to give you legal advice and you say this is nothing more than a scam. Yes, you are. All right, and of course you say you quit working for the plaintiff because you started working for the son that you were supposed to serve. Is that correct? That is correct. All right, uh, Maggie, tell me how you met the defendant. Uh, you ought to, I've met this thief, <laughs> this liar, this conniver in the courthouse. Passing That's the house out of justice, it happens every day. <laughs> passing out his business cards for legal advice. Good, let's see it. Did you hand out that card at the courthouse? I did hand it out okay, outside good. the nope, courthouse. Okay, good. That's all I asked. Go ahead, Maggie. Thank you. Pro per litigation specialist. What's a pro? I've heard of pro se, but I've never heard of pro per. Of course, that could be proper. Mm. Litigation specialist. What does that mean? Pro per litigation specialist means I'm a legal document preparer that assists pro per litigants who can't afford attorneys. What's a pro per? Someone who's appearing in propria persona. Pro se is when you're appearing on your own. I've never heard pro per, but all right, okay. Black's Law Dictionary is right there. Black's Law Dictionary? All right, go pull my Black's Law. It's back there. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, go ahead, Maggie. <laughs> go ahead, Maggie. It was $350 up front to start the paperwork. What paperwork are you hiring him to do? My granddaughter had got in trouble, Objection. and he was to... You're objecting to her granddaughter getting in trouble? I'm objecting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm objecting to the amount that she indicates that she paid Oh, me. sure. All right, can you prove you paid him three fifty? Yes, I can. All right, let's see it. And, Your Honor, he's a crook because... You already said that. Every time I turn around, he has a different signature on all documents. Receipt. $350. Received from Mrs. Jones. Is this your signature? Did you receive three fifty? dollars Let's show it to there. the defendant. Thank you very much. Which one is supposed to be my signature? Hmm. The one He's on the bottom. He's a liar, Your Honor. <laughs> he you got a, a liar. license? This, do you have a license? That's not your signature. This is not my signature. You have a license? Yes, I do. Let me see your license. He's a liar. I know, I have... you already said that. This is a printed signature. Do you have your signature in writing? I can give you my signature in writing. I don't sign adhesion contracts with a signature. I sign it in all uppercase letters, all rights reserved, Your Honor. Wow. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, mm. he's a liar. She said, you hire him for $350. What does he do? He didn't do anything. That what was he supposed to do? He's supposed to be in, file all the, the paperwork for my granddaughter in court for my granddaughter to return back to my house. Where is your granddaughter, Maggie? Where does she live at? No, but why is she returning to your house? She had got into some trouble. She stabbed one of my sons. So what's he gonna do for her? Uh, he was gonna, this crook here was gonna file the, the paperwork in juvenile court. If your granddaughter mm -hmm. is in a juvenile home? Yes. She's entitled to a real lawyer. He's not a lawyer. He's a proper or proper <laughs> liberation advocacy litigation specialist. He's a liar. He's a liar? He's a liar? He's a liar. All right. Did he go do anything for your granddaughter? No. Okay. Did you do anything for the granddaughter? I wasn't asked to, no. Okay, good. What's next? He's lying. This liar <laughs> was filling out the papers for me, for my granddaughter. Let me see the papers. <sighs> The, this is just a statement of what happened at Juvenile Hall. 
Yes. So what's this got to do with him? What state is this? California. He was telling you me. You admit you're not a lawyer. I openly admit that I am not a practicing attorney. Or a non-practicing attorney. You're not an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. All right, now, Maggie, what else are you suing him for? When he was taking care of my case, this liar, he made a mistake. What's it like living with her? <laughs> are you her husband? Yes. Yeah. This, okay, let's this see liar it. mixed up things that I didn't have. That's how I know this liar and this crook and this thief was doing something that he didn't have in the business. Maggie. Yes. Let's agree on something. All right? Every time you refer to him, I will think a liar, a crook, and a thief. <laughs> okay? Well, but you can it leave is. it out. Now, what did you tell her when you met her? Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I didn't bring with me today much in the way of evidence, but what I did bring is a true heart and the facts as I know them. Well, your heart may be great, but I'd rather have the evidence. It is a court of law. Yes. You know that, Rafiq. All right, go ahead. What do you do? I am a legal document preparer. I was What is that? I prepare pleadings for parties without attorneys. Are I you a paralegal? No. Okay. Go ahead. Legal document preparer is something different than that. You should... You know this. Judge. Go ahead, Rafiq. Thank you. I received my training. I have proof of that here. Let's see your training. Thank you. This is a copy of the original. Oh, dear. The Sheiks of the Moorish Science Temple. He's completed our course. We find he is of sound mind <laughs> and worthy to conduct business. Rafiq, are you licensed to be a certified legal document preparer by the state of California? First of all, under yes, the... Yes, no. No, under... With clarification. There is no licensing provision for pro per advocates or legal document assistance. And where in the California statute does it allow for the practice of a legal document assistant? That would come under the provision of the California State Constitution. Based upon the general Constitution. Yes, that is my answer. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, go ahead. She solicited me to prepare a civil action requesting restraining orders against her son. While serving the documents at his home, he invited me in. Whatever happened to serving the papers and turning around and running? I always investigate with the defense party. Do you ever hear of conflict of interest? That you shouldn't be fraternizing with a party that you've been hired to serve or provide some advice about? Well, with all due respect, Your Honor, since... No, you're not showing me any respect, and you better be careful, all right? Because I'm just about at the end of my rope. Here's the bottom line. You are trying to practice law under the guise of a certificate of appointment when the truth is you could be prosecuted for a misdemeanor. So don't test my patience. Do you understand? Yes. So you are suing her now. What are you suing her for? I notified her the following day that I was terminating any further services with her. And um, she had written me a check, which I have. Right. And the check was in the amount of $125. The check bounced. It came back insufficient funds. Let me see. This is handwritten. How do I know who wrote this? Well, <laughs> one of... You want to tell me her check bounced? Prove it. Don't play with me. <laughs> now, what else are you still in for? $2,000, $2, Your Honor, here's the check that he just talked about. The check was cashed. Oh. Show it to the defendant. Why are you suing him for $2,000? Because I paid him cash. He could only take cash and I gave him cash. Let me go to your, your, your statement here. In your statement here, you say I wrote him five checks, all right? Yes. Do you have evidence 
that you gave him five checks for $1,225? No. Thank you very much. The bank much. couldn't get them. All right. I'm going to start with the defendant's counterclaim. The defendant is claiming that the check for $125 bounced. I'm not even going to get into whether it bounced because it cashed, all right? And this handwritten statement is meaningless to me. But I want to teach you a lesson in the law, Rafiq, all right? The California bad check law says you have to send her a written notice demanding payment on an insufficient fund. Did you do that? I did not. Right. Okay, your counterclaim is dismissed. Now, with respect to you, Maggie, as far as I'm concerned, I am not going to give you money for 1225 because you haven't proved it, or 500 or emotional distress, $211. I am going to give you that, only because he stresses me out, too. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me explain something to you, Rafiq. Don't you ever come into a courtroom again and try to pull the wool over a judge's eyes. I was very patient. California definition of the practice of law. The practice of law includes but is not limited to giving any kind of advice, explanation, opinion, or recommendation about a person's possible legal rights, remedies, defenses, options, or selection of forms or strategies. Mr. Bay, you are practicing law without a license. And if I were you, I'd get the hell out of my courtroom. So <laughs> They come in and they think they're smarter than you are. He's not. God is looking and he's booking. You the one gonna burn in hell for lying because you destroyed my family. Just because you say it, Miss Jones, does not make it the truth. It's the truth.